Today we're going to change a diaper. First things first, let's get these clothes off. So we want to make sure that the clothes are well out of the way of the diaper area because we don't want to have to clean up the clothes as well. Go ahead and lift them up. They're very flexible. Don't be afraid to hurt them. They don't hurt easily. What we like to do is take the new diaper, the new clean diaper, unfold it all the way, lift them up and place it under the old diaper. That way we prevent messes from spreading. Now I like to get this open and ready so that I can just grab the wipe as soon as I need it. Now we take off the old diaper. And I like to use, if it's messy, if it's a messy diaper, this one is not, but if it's a messy diaper, I like to use the old diaper and get as much of the mess with the diaper as possible. That way I don't have to use a thousand wipes. Put the diaper within reach, but out of the way of their feet because babies like to find the old diaper and it gets really messy. So make sure it's still within reach so you can easily put it away and yet the babies can't kick it. Now get a wipe and get the whole area. Make sure you get all of the diaper area because leaks get everywhere. So make sure you get the whole area. Don't, feel, don't be afraid to move what's necessary and make sure you get the whole diaper area very clean. If it's a boy, you may have to move some things. If it's a girl, make sure that you wipe with, your, with the wipe from front all the way to back. That's very important. Put the old messy wipe in the old diaper. Now one of the things that I learned is that in order to prevent diaper rash, you don't need a rash or a cream or a powder. If you let this air dry, then you won't need a diaper rash cream because they won't get diaper rash most likely. So you can blow on it, wave at it, you know, let it air dry, but you kind of want to do it quickly because boys especially like to make messes between diapers. It's another reason to have the old, the new diaper so that you can prevent messes from happening. So if it's a boy, we're going to want to point it so that it's down or up, depending on your boy. Then we put the new diaper on, secure it tightly. Make sure that the ruffle is out. That also helps to prevent leaks. Put the clothes back on. And that is how we change a diaper.